Hey guys, I have some seriously hot news today. Did you hear about the new bird tested recently? The Hadid 110 drone is changing all military equations. Hit that like button right now and let's dive in. All right, folks, let's get straight to the point today. This new drone named Hadid 110 is making waves. Its performance in the Persian Gulf waters was truly stunning. I want to break down every technical detail for you. You might ask, why name this drone Hadid 110? In military terms, Hadid usually means strong steel armor. But interestingly, the body isn't made of metal at all. Engineers used advanced composites to make it stealthy. Let's first talk about the material of this mysterious bird. Using composites makes it incredibly light and very agile. This lightness allows it to fly much longer distances. Most importantly, it drastically lowers its radar cross-section. In the leaked test videos, I saw something strange. This drone locked on to moving sea targets without any error. This means its optical and laser systems are super precise. It hits the target center like it was drawn there. Now let's look at the engine and heart of this beast. Based on the sound and smoke, it's likely a piston engine. Piston engines might seem old, but they are very efficient. This means they can build thousands at a very low cost. One scary feature of Hadid 110 is its loitering capability. What does that mean? It circles overhead for hours waiting just like an eagle waiting to spot its prey below. Once the target is confirmed, it dives like a lightning bolt. The history of this drone goes back a few years. Iranian engineers realized future wars belong to cheap suicide drones, so they decided to work on a platform that is cheap. Hadid 110 is the result of years of trial and error. In the tests conducted in the Persian Gulf, what was the goal? They wanted to see if it could hit fast boats. The results showed this drone absolutely loves hunting speedboats. Its diving speed totally confuses the defensive systems on ships. The guidance system is likely a mix of GPS and imagery. It travels by satellite, then opens its eyes near the target. When close, the camera visually locks onto the specific target. This way, even with electronic jamming, it finds its way. Another cool point is the aerodynamic design of its wings. The wings are shaped to allow flight at very low altitudes. Flying low means staying hidden from enemy radar detection systems. This capability is vital for surprise operations out at sea. You might be wondering about the operational range of this drone. Military experts analyze the range is a few hundred kilometers. This range is enough to cover the Gulf and Oman Sea. No vessel can pass through without this drone seeing it. The warhead installed on the Hadid 110 has a story. This warhead is designed to focus the blast in one spot. With a lightweight, it creates the maximum possible destruction it is perfectly suited for punching holes in ship holes. Another feature many missed is the simple launcher it uses. You can fire this drone from the back of a pickup. It does not need a runway or complex military airbase. This means high mobility and fast movement on the battlefield. Regarding policy, the main goal was creating asymmetric deterrence. This means stopping billion-dollar ships with a low-cost weapon. This strategy is known globally as asymmetric warfare tactics. Iran has shown it has special skills in this fighting style. Guys, this drone is not just a weapon. It's a message. The message is that Gulf security is kept by local tech. The successful test showed sanctions did not stop military progress. The world is now looking at Iran's drone power closely. You might ask, how does it differ from Shahid-136? Shahid-136 is big, 
and designed for static long-range targets. But Hadid 110 is smaller, tactical, and for moving targets. This makes it a great addition to the drone family. In the test videos, we saw it dive at steep angles. This attack angle makes it hard for air defense to intercept. In military terms, we call this the blind spot attack. Engineers really worked hard on the maneuverability of this bird. Another capability is the potential for swarm or group flight. Imagine 10 of these flying towards a target at once. No defense system can handle that volume of incoming fire. This is a nightmare scenario for any naval commander globally. Global news sources reacted strongly to this recent test event. Military analysis sites wrote Iran is moving on tech edge. They admitted the pinpoint accuracy is actually quite worrying. It shows how advanced and precise Iranian guidance has become. Now, let's talk a bit more casually about the future. What do you think the next generation will look like? They will likely move to AI to self-detect the targets. At that point, they won't even need a human operator. The important point is that this is all built domestically, from the body to the engine and the electronic laser systems. This shows drone knowledge is now deeply rooted inside Iran. They are no longer dependent on foreign parts or help. By the way, another technical point is the data link. This drone can send images online to the ground station. The commander can watch the impact moment live on screen. This is very important for assessing damage and operation results. Well, friends, I think we covered all hidden angles today. From composite bodies and piston engines to laser guidance systems. This new bird showed the Persian Gulf skies are tighter, and Iranian technology has a lot to say to the world. Thanks so much for staying with me until the end. If you like these military reviews, let me know below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell icon. Write in the comments which drone should we review next.